This I'm using um, dies from AccuQuilt. This is die number six. This is the on point die number five, which is this one, and die number four. And if you look, you can see that I drew lines for where my die is. That's going to help me cut. It's and like it does kind of. It looks good. You need a little. I could draw a little bit of smoke coming up out of here. Yeah. Um. So this is the pattern. Um, one thing I want to go over when Hi, it Linda. says four patches, that means four triangles, half square triangles here. So you don't need to cut out four squares, two squares, four triangles if you're rotary cutting. Okay, so we need four patches of this. Fold it over. You do want to make sure that you're paying attention to your salvage on these pieces. Um because you want them to go through with the straight grain. If you don't, your pieces will not come out the right size. I've seen them off by as much as a eighth of an inch, which doesn't seem like a lot, but when you're doing a whole block, it's a lot. There we go. So there's my four pieces for that. Toss that aside. We need five of this one. And Again, so, you can get the pattern on the website and use your own fabrics. I'm going to cut these first. This is die number um, <laughs> four. Die number five. And so we need four of those. And that's just two passes like that. And you'll see why I did that that way in a second. We've been doing a lot of virtual AccuQuilt events too. We have been. There are those. Actually, I have too many. I have eight. We can't wait to uh, do some in-store ones as well. And maybe some hybrid ones. So we'll do some in-store, but there'll be some virtual people too. Yeah. And maybe some cardboard cutouts. And so we only need five of these <laughs> cardboard cutouts. Well, Are we going like to do all, like the ball game? Like all the sporting events, you got to have some cardboard cutouts in the audience. <laughs> there you go. I was joking that the lady who just got a long arm delivered, she needs one of those for her dining room table. <laughs> yeah, because she's going to be selling a lot. Okay. And so we only need five of those. I cut six just because it's easier. And so there's our block all cut out. How easy was that? Nice. Super easy. And so I'm going to start with these. So if you look at this pattern, it all has these little corners on there. I'm going to sew all of those first. Well, on the four. We don't need five of them. This block is going to go together so fast, which is the best kind. Okay. Cut. Let's trim these apart. A little special doohickey. What are you sewing on there, Joan? This is the TL2010. It's a straight stitch machine from Juki. So, don't remember. I can never remember. I must have a mental block somewhere. I think it's 1500 1500 Something like that. So 99 this... ship anywhere. Yep. $999. We can ship that to you. It's a great little machine. A little mechanical. 
Yep. What's that tool there? The uh, multi-finger pressure tool doohickey. guy? Doohickey? <laughs> it's the doohickey. Multi-function finger presser tool. That's the one. That's the one. They're $7.99. I'm sure you're going no backsies, but they are $7.99. <laughs> so, I do like to lay these blocks Hi, out. It did go fast. Well, it's not quite finished yet. Well, I mean, just the cutting. Yeah, it does. It goes super fast. I mean, I can't recommend AccuQuilt enough for cutting. It's a game changer for you. Um, I had another thought and it's gone. Uh oh. Left. Happens all the time. Well, Robert. <laughs> Ooh, that's an interesting pattern right there. It's like a little arrow pointing over there to the. It's a rocket ship. So, shoot. I'm taking my time this week because last week, somewhere along in here, The pattern is free. You can go out to the, the website and download the patterns. Yeah. Okay. You won't need any extra fabric for sashing because clearly you have enough here to do your sashing. And we will have um, fabric available for the border. Okay. And I'm pressing these seams out as well. They're making fun of me today because I got my first COVID shot. And I'm a little sore. What? We're just jealous. They're just, they're just jealous is what they said. Well, soon you'll get yours. I'm just being whiny about it. It's not as bad as some of the other shots I've gotten in my life. Some of those have been really bad. You have to tell us about them sometime. Yellow fever was the worst. When did you get yellow fever? Yep. Yep, it was required. Okay, so these seams, I'm going to press the opposite direction towards the center square so that my seams nest real nice. And then we're almost done. And we are taking requests for some show topics um, that you guys would like us to cover. Whether Absolutely. that's support, product review, techniques, fabrics, let us know. I think we're still going to do the color, or we're going to do the thread and the needles. Yeah. So we'll plan for those shows, because I know that you guys wanted those. Now we could talk a long time about needles and thread. Um, and it's one of those things that just stumps a lot of people. The people that don't have an AccuQuilt, the cutting size is still in the pattern. Though. Yes, yeah. so the cutting, so if you don't have an AccuQuilt, you're going to cut, let me hold this, two squares, three and an eighth square, and then cut diagonally to get four patches. So your cutting um, directions are here. And if you have an Accu quilt, then you'll just follow the die. Mm-hmm. Yep. yep. So instructions for both in the pattern. In the pattern. Threads and needles. Okay, we got a vote on that one. Thread and needles. It's if it's... you guys want to weigh in on that, um, be sure and let us know. We did it before, probably a year ago. It's been ago? a long time ago, though. year and a half, maybe? The 
the color chart one was pretty fun. Yeah, the color one. Oh, it's good. Almost done. Sewing while standing on one foot with a sore arm. <laughs> Let's come over here to the iron. Do a quick press. Let's blow off some steam first. Okay. And then I think, yeah, I'm going to press the seams out. And just a good shot of steam to make sure everything lays flat. Apparently I didn't blow off enough steam. Let's just dry that. And there you have it. Block 3B. Week 14. Week 14. Week 14. I like the color. And I like saying wasabi. It's fun. Wasabi, wasabi, wasabi. Right. <laughs> <laughs> sushi and wasabi. One Gotta of my have wasabi with your sushi. So. You do. Yeah.